The last caller was David. This this is also David. This is also David, but not the same David. I, how you doing? Doing fine, guys. I like it the most when the two of you are on the show. Thank you. I, I know Matt's on all oh. the time, but the two of you just work really great. Well, we're like brother and sister. Well, y'all do the job. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I'm a Christian, but I, I believe in always putting my beliefs up to scrutiny to see if they, they stand the light of day. And you guys do a great job of that and make me think, and I really appreciate you guys for that. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to try to be quick because I know we're running out of time. You had mentioned the Miller-Urey experiment. Right. Uh, and abiogenesis. I have... Uh, this at least is one thing I've gotten to spend a lot of time studying because I find it very interesting and I, I love biochemistry. Are you getting ready to point out that they didn't use an atmosphere that's consistent with Earth's atmosphere at the time? Not at all. Okay. I'm going to point out that uh, when you study biochemistry, you find out that what they uh, created was an inorganic amino acid that does not have the same chirality that organic amino acids have. In other words, see, there's two kind of amino acid uh, structures out there. Right. There's one called uh, race mates, and then there's one that is either left or right-handed. The race mates are neither left nor right-handed. They are mirror images. There's an answer for this at talkorigins.org if you go. I've been, and it's an answer that's, uh, well, this protein might have done this, and this kind of amino acid might have done that. All that is is I could have made that up myself. Well, the, the the point, I mean, we already know that their experiment um, wasn't consistent with yeah, the I've atmosphere. Yeah, I've been all over Talk Origins, yes. Uh, yeah, the, the point is, is that um, there's no reason to think that it is impossible for life to arise from non-life under the right conditions. The fact that we haven't found the exact conditions that were available on Earth or produced the exact proteins that arose on Earth is irrelevant to whether or not we can produce the basic building blocks of life from non-life. To um, believe that it did happen without intelligence being required is, is believe me, that, I mean, we're talking about such an incredible amount of faith, you might as well believe some no, intelligence has no. nothing to do with it. No, the faith is in, re is in believing that there's some intelligence that is so vast and transcendent and, oh, by the way, hidden, that it could do this. And why, if this intelligence exists, would it create single-cell amino life and let it evolve over billions of years. That's not what happened. And you have We didn't evolve. There, and and for that part of it there is that's all nothing but speculation. What speculation? What's, that we began with nothing but a single cell and then uh, went forward from there. It uh, not until you come up to uh, uh, worms and sponges do you have anything to base anything on. Anything before that is absolute speculation. Uh, first of and, all, and also the Miller-Urey experiment, the part they don't tell you is that they didn't just make these inorganic amino acids inside of there. They also made a big yucky bit of uh, uh, toxic mess right. that would kill they life. They tell you that. It. Don't pretend like they don't tell you that. They tell you that. Uh, their, their results not are in published. in my textbook when I was growing up, it didn't. The, the thing is, is that... They don't put it in the textbooks. They may say it at Talk Origins, the, but the, not to their, our little children growing up, they don't, which they should. The purpose... And of, I bet you agree with me on that. The, um, I, I think the, the results are public. I think that, that what else was produced in there is irrelevant to the point that we're trying to make. And the point is that uh, religions assert... And theists assert that life from non-life is impossible and absolutely absurd without the in intervention of intelligence. You just basically said the same thing yourself. No, I say that the evidence for it is extremely lacking. And you I said it takes that the more faith. Chances are extremely low. Right. Then isn't that isn't that what I just said? No. Okay. You said impossible. No, I said absurd. You did say the word impossible. I did have to. All right. Back. If I said impossible, then I'll take that back. Thank you. What you're, what you're saying, then, is that... <laughs> we're so much alike, we're very exacting. ...is that um, it is more plausible that some transcendent intelligence did this than that it could occur naturally. And now we're talking philosophy instead of science. No, we're not. And that's the thing. We're still talking... it's we're down still to what stop, you consider stop, to be more plausible. Stop, stop, stop. It's not a personal decision about what's more plausible, and it's not philosophy. It's science. And one of the elements is that we can quantify knowns, and it is always wrong to hypothesize an unknown to explain a known, we, when, especially when we can explain knowns in terms of knowns. 
when you quantize knowns, you know how what the chance is for and against. Um, no, not necessarily. I mean, uh, life insurance uh, insurance wouldn't even be in business if it weren't for that. It, well, it, I don't know that this necessarily applies in all cases. What I'm saying is um, we have known entities and we have possible explanations. And what you're saying is that it is more rationally justified to posit the existence of a transcendent intelligence, which we know nothing about and could not possibly know anything about, than it is to accept that this is possible by natural means. Take out the word transcendence. Just greater. Gr greater. It, now, when we're talking about the beginning of life, uh, being here on Earth, there's a much greater chance that some other life seeded it here than there is that it's spontaneously generated on its own. How can you say that? I mean, I, I don't disagree that, you know, directed panspermia is one of the possibilities, but I don't know how you can say that that's directed more likely. Directed panspermia is basically uh, much wiser for you to adapt than, than to believe in spontaneous generation with all the things that we now know uh, no, because stand in its way. At some point, spontaneous generation had to occur, and what you're saying is more likely that it occurred somewhere else than here. Because we have no, there were no organic materials. See, but organic that's the is point. something that was once alive. That's the point of the Miller experiment, is to demonstrate that the building blocks of life, that organic material, can possibly come through natural processes from inorganic material. And I just told you that they didn't produce the type that can It doesn't make matter life. what type they produced. What matters is that they produced organic material. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they made race mates. Race mates have never been found in life anywhere at any time. It doesn't, it doesn't, oh, you're still being narrowed to they didn't produce the same type that is here on earth that is the building block of our life. That's not the point. You're missing. It should the, certainly be. No, it's not. Because we're talking about organic from inorganic, not specifically how life formed. We've meant from the get go that the Miller experiment does nothing to demonstrate exactly how life formed on this, on, on this planet or if it formed on this planet. When you first talked to that other caller, you made it quite clear that you believe that that experiment pretty much showed that we've been able to make the building blocks of life. And because it not. does. Inorganic amino acids are not the building blocks of life. I don't accept your claim. I'll they look up. I don't. Mates. I don't accept your claim. We got to take this offline. Then you're going to have to go to biochemistry and do a little study. I, and I have, and that's the other thing. But anyway, I'll go look up some more information later. All right, my friend. Got, I do appreciate that you're there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, David.